Christopher Stewart, Chris Wallace, the 26th of October 1933 to the 7th of August 2004, was an Australian computer scientist and physicist. Wallace is notable for having devised the minimum message length principle. Wallace and Bowleton, 1968, WB1968 an information theoretic principle in statistics, econometrics, machine learning, inductive inference and knowledge discovery which can be seen both as a mathematical formalization of Occam's razor and as an invariant Bayesian method of model selection and point estimation. The Wallace tree form of binary multiplier 1964, a variety of random number generators A theory in physics and philosophy that entropy is not the arrow of time A refrigeration system from the 1950s, whose design is still in use in 2010 Hardware for detecting and counting cosmic rays Design of computer operating systems the notion of universality probability in mathematical logic and a vast range of other works c e g Christopher Stuart Wallace 1933 to 2004 memorial special issue computer journal 51 5, 523 to 607 the 5th of September 2008 Doi 10.1093 comjnl bxm117 and its backquote backquote forward re cs wallace pp 523 to 560 he was appointed foundation chair of information science at monash university in 1968 at the age of 34 before the department was later renamed computer science and professor emeritus in 1996 Wallace was a Fellow of the Australian Computer Society and in 1995 he was appointed a Fellow of the ACM, "...for research in a number of areas in computer science including fast multiplication algorithm, minimum message length principle and its applications, random number generation, computer architecture, numerical solution of ODES, and contribution to Australian computer science." 1. Wallace received his PhD in physics from the University of Sydney in 1959. He was married to Judy Ogilvy, the first secretary and program librarian of SILLIAC, which was launched on 12 September 1956 at the University of Sydney and which was one of Australia's first computers. He also engineered one of the world's first local area networks in the mid-1960s 